I know we're in the age of videos and um, watching uh, what others are doing and creating videos and things that people can consume. Uh, but I believe that reading is fundamental. It's still absolutely fundamental to from a learning perspective. Being able to read uh, something that has been written gives, it empowers that individual to to learn independently and it gives like it gives you control over what you choose to uh, actively uh, put into your mind where your brain and this is all my own theory based on some things I've learned and reading myself it, it sets inside of your own brain an active receptor of the concepts that you're reading. So you're, when what I see is when you're watching a video, which is good to enjoy, and you you are learning something, but it's a passive type of learning when you're watching something. When you're reading, you're actively your blood is actively trying to help your brain comprehend and the action of comprehending the material is taking an active approach and you're exercising your brain as a muscle when you're reading so that's part one part two i believe is that the concepts you grasp from being able to read and and that you learn and as you're trying to draw on uh and each word by word and sentence by sentence and putting that together to try to form a perspective that's being ta taught to you through the reading or you're learning about uh, news or you're learning about uh, uh, studying a discipline. All of that goes into a bucket, a comprehension bucket in your brain. And in different situations, your brain actively... Uh, draws on that to help you through other situations or can help be a foundation for other concepts that you can build upon. Um, so reading, I, I tell you a story. When I was younger uh, in elementary schools, I did not like to read. Uh, I like to read like magazines uh, that I was interested in. I, uh, I, I liked different things like planes, and I would like to read about that. But as far as going to school and reading and taking books home, having to do book reports, oh, I really, I, I, I did not like doing it. And because I didn't like doing that, uh, half the time when I can get away with it, basically what I did was read the back of the book, and then I to create a book report, I basically, I, I, I made up my own story, hoping that uh, the teacher, when I handed in the report, didn't read the actual book that I was supposed to read, that I chose to read. And based on that, they would have to believe the story. And I did get, um, I, I got through some schooling with that. Uh, and as I got to the later high school years, that. I couldn't take that approach because the books we were reading were general and, and, and the teacher had read or understood the material. So I had to force myself to try to sit down and read. Going from there into college level um, and then trying to pick up a like a, a Wall Street Journal or paper, I realized that, you know what, I, I don't even know the vocabulary in a lot of the writings. I can't read the paper. Uh, because I couldn't understand the words. And if I can't understand many, when we're reading, if you can't understand many words in a row, the concepts and things don't form. So uh, after the, all that time period, and I, I slowly, I mentioned this before, I did want to be uh, learn more about how people think and positive thinking and belief. And I was in uh, network marketing and I had a lot of motivation to read books that they directed us to or re recommended to us. And I took on some of those books and my, my friend and I, we were in it together and we were competing for who could read the, uh, the most books. And, and from there, 
I built kind of like a the muscle for wanting to be able to read and be creative grew tremendously. And at the same time, uh, I was exposed to some materials from a from a church perspective that were uh, using vocabulary I couldn't understand, and I wanted to really understand that. So it was another motivation for me to to read and keep reading and read and practice reading and to get to the information and be smart. Now, years later, looking back, all of those approaches and that that ability to be able to dive in independently has helped me personally to expand the types of materials that I can read. It helps me to get through the challenging um, breakthroughs in reading a certain difficult material if I need to read it. Uh, I have my own approach where I take walks and think through it and and try to take a break and come back to it and simplify it. That's helped me to expand into uh, different languages in reading. And I've I've gone through a similar process in a couple different languages, trying to read materials and become more familiar with it. Learning how to read and not get every single vocabulary word, but gain the concept and get the message. And it's being able to pick up and read, in, especially in a different language, builds that bucket that I was mentioning before. It, it, that muscle in your brain is working, so those vocabularies that are going in uh, have given me more command of that specific type of a, uh, uh, vocabulary or, or topic in the situations. So keeping in mind not everyone in the world has access to be able to read or to learn how to read. I struggled with reading in English when I was younger. I was in the class where uh, in my seventh or eighth grade, I had to go to a like an adjusted uh, reading class because I, I just it was boring to me just reading. And I, I know there's there's people out there today that just don't have access to be able to taught to be able how to read. And I really thank I'm thankful and I applaud and appreciate everyone around the world who's trying to reach people to teach them how to read so that they can gain literacy. So once they have literacy, that's that's so much power in your hand that you can, without needing someone to explain it to you, you can pick up something um, that will grow and expand for you as an individual. It helps you become smarter and it, it kind of snowballed. There's a snowball effect. Once you start reading, it becomes easier. You, the muscle is built and it gets easier to pick up new materials and, and cross reference things. Um, I guess the last part of this is yeah, having that ability to be able to read is much more powerful than relying solely on uh, word of mouth on what's happened, you know, and it allows access to information that p- people in general may not have access to. The media and our videos are publishing a perception about things that have happened, and it, they're good to consume for entertainment. But sometimes if you want to get to the source of the problem or the source of what you're studying, you may want to branch out into books and reading. To be able to do that, reading is going to be fundamental to help you and it's fundamental for the rest of our lives.